My name is Bruce. How are you doing today? Welcome to my second workflow video with my new uh, EMC Mechanica Slim 5 uh, and my handy dandy niche grinder here. Um, I'll be using uh, this coffee which is uh, Happy Goat Coffee. I don't know if you can see that. Happy Goat Coffee. It's uh, Brazilian Espresso Majorna. If I pronounced that right, I probably didn't. Um, yes, so uh, settle back and uh, try not to get bored. So I'm going to try my best not to get in front of the camera this time, which I did last time. Um, Alright, so here we go. Start by cleaning this. Make sure it's all clean. It's all pre-warmed because it's been sitting in here for about a half hour warming up. Let's just clean out the head, run some hot water, bring the temperature back down to brewing temperature. All right, so we'll let, while that's uh, heating back up to proper brew temperature, we'll run some beans through the niche. So as you can see, I'm almost out of beans. Uh, I've, I bought some new beans. I'll show them to you in a bit. So we're going to do 18 grams in probably about 24 seconds. I'd like it a little bit longer, but I need to change my... Oops. I got to zero out my thing. There we go. We're going to do 18 grams. grams 18 whoops 17.9 18.1 all right like to give it a few flicks there to get any additional grinds that are stuck right in the very end of the spout. One of the things I don't like about using the dosing uh, cup that comes with the niche is when I put the, the, this into the portafilter like that, it leaves a gap around the edges. And I'm not sure, I don't know if you can see that. Oops. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure how much that affects the coffee, like, because I am going to WDT it, but uh, it is something that uh, I am aware of. And I'm going to address that by getting a dosing funnel, and I will put that in the, it in the dosing funnel and then WDT it, hoping not to have these gaps around the outer edge, which may lead to channeling. So, as I showed you, we have an onion distribution here, which is kind of typical when using that uh, dosing cup that comes with a niche. So I'm going to WDT it. This I bought off of Etsy. I, it's a great tool. I highly recommend it. And I'll use this to even out all the gr grounds in the porta filter. There we go. Looks good. When I'm happy with that, I'm just going to give it a tamp. Use a tamper that came with the ECM uh, Mechanica 5 Slim. I'm just going to press down moderately light. A couple twists just for a flare. And that's my finished portafilter. And if you look, I'm going to have to redo that because it's very low on this side and high on that side. So I'm going to WDT it again. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. But that definitely shows that when I put that coffee in the portafilter, as you saw, it was high on one side already. 
and this WDT did not evenly distribute the grounds in the porta filter. So let's do this again. I don't know if this is a good idea. I've never tried this before to redistribute using this, this as this is a method. I don't think it's a particularly great idea. I wouldn't recommend it. Tap. Let's tamp it again and see what happens. All right, that looks much even. That looks very flat, very perfect. I don't know if it's gonna to lead to channeling because of what I've done, but we're gonna give it a try. And I don't have a naked porter filter, so there's no way to really know what the channeling issues are gonna be. I may get a naked porter filter in the future. I'm not really keen on them, just because of the mess they make when you try to figure out how you're dialing in your coffee. Anyways, let's give this a try. Okay, putting the porter filter in. Securing it, getting my cup, we're going to zero this time war uh, scale out, there we go, we'll put it under here, it fits just perfect, almost, I think it's a little bit overhang, but it does, it weighs fine, all right, so we're going to go for 18 in, so we're going to go for 36 out in about 24 25 seconds let's see if that works out So that was 20 seconds, 26 seconds, and uh, 37.2 out. So that's that's pretty good. So we'll give it a taste. See how it see how it tastes. See if we got it right. So give it a good stir, like James Hoffman says. Mix all that uh, crema in with the espresso. Not bad, not bad. A, a little bit sour, a little bit bitter, a little bit of everything. I don't get a lot of sweetness. Um, so I'm not really sure where to go with that, but uh, still not bad. So what I'll do with this is I'll make a, I'll, I'll make a, a cappuccino with it. So anyways, so cappuccino it is. So we'll frost some milk. So be back in two seconds. So I don't have room for my larger cup. I don't have some specific cappuccino cups, but I've been using these coffee mugs. Um, anyways, I'm gonna preheat it by putting some uh, boiling water in here. Very useful. This thing is super useful for that. So I'll preheat this. So when I pour my espresso in there, uh, it, the cup will be nice and pre-warm. Now we'll go get some. So I'm back with my milk and my mug. ECM mug. Oh, I forgot to use my tamper. Oh, there you go. There's your problem. Uh, we'll have to redo this. Oh, we'll leave the mistake in and we'll redo another video next week. Or on, or even tomorrow maybe. Who knows? But the mistakes are mistakes. They happen. Oops. Let's clean up the one. There we go.
yeah, that's hot enough. I'm going to clean off the one. Clean out the end. Alright, clean up my mess, then pull the spray. Keep things clean as possible. It is so shiny, it is absolutely a fingerprint magnet. Alright. So I'll be right back. Now you're not going to see any latte art because that's not something I've managed yet. And uh, I think I really need another milk jug so I can pour one back into the other. Because otherwise I'm just going to drop a big hunk of f foam. Let's see if you guys can see this. I'm going to be drumping. And it, yeah. So it's definitely not cafe quality latte art, but it's going to be very tasty. So there you have it, one cappuccino. Um, I might call it a latte, but I call it a cappuccino. Someday I'll get some cappuccino, proper cappuccino cups. And uh, one big mistake by forgetting to uh, use my leveler. Which is why I ended up with an unlevel plot. Puck. Stupid me. But next time, we will correct that mistake. Maybe tomorrow. Cheers. Mm. I really love cappuccinos. Mm. Till the next time.